when I talk to the people of ATCO, their belief that we can do this with the best heart, the best minds, all pulling together, anything is possible. When I think back on the early, early beginnings of ATCO, 1947, the collaboration of my dad and grandfather, along with my grandmother, Ina Southern, and my mom, was really a, a great story of entrepreneurism and the pioneer spirit here in Alberta. They built an incredible team. It's how it began with SD, wanting to make a difference in his family's life. RD did the same, and now Nancy. The genius of both RD, Marg, Linda, and Nancy, if they've carried that on, that trust building across the generations and through the organization. That generational value, it's transferred. It's, it's like a, a culture moving from generation to generation. The origins of ATCO as a family business definitely shape who we are today and the kind of culture that we have. ATCO has that unique culture of really watching those everyday details, but doing everything they can to meet the needs of their customer for the future, whether they know they need it today or not. Great imagination and great determination allowed us to have products in over 127 countries and move from a a $4,000 investment into a, a company today that has $22 billion in assets and operations worldwide. It's diversified a lot. We've gone back into Australia very successfully. We undertook a very challenging initiative in Puerto Rico. We are in the ports business in Chile. We are modernizing utilities in Alberta. All of those are examples of people coming together with the right leadership from Nancy, the right people on the team to achieve an important goal. That comes from long-term family-based strategy horizons. It almost goes back to our indigenous peoples who had a perspective of seven generations. Nancy and ATCO were way ahead of their time in establishing a real true partnership with the indigenous people. Take the Alberta power line. It's the first in Canada where a multi-billion dollar project had no interventions with the indigenous people all the way from central Alberta up to northern Alberta. It's a foundation that uh, ATCO has built to continue, and they have continued right across the country. So many examples where we've worked with municipalities, fire departments on emergency response or energy transformation. That commitment to engagement with communities is really, really part of who we are and how we do business. The business is built not around an individual, but around getting people together, working, valuing each other's contributions. And Nancy's always said, it's gotta be a win for the customer and a win for us. And I think that's basically saying we've gotta work as a team. And when you talk about teams, I think you probably don't see the most important team at all. And I call them the triad. That's Marg, Nancy, and Linda. And the three of them work very closely together. They always have, trying to do what's right in the long term for this family. I see it in the whole family. They seem really, really grounded. That's the key in moving forward. You walk through this world, you know, uh, with respect for everybody, and I think that's real key. I hope that I have played an important role in developing that respect that trust, that transparency, so that we can participate and help make things better. It's an old saying that culture will eat strategy for breakfast. And I think if you've got the right culture, you'll be successful. Now you pair that with strategy and you're gonna be amazing. Nancy deserves this award for bringing people together to, to meet the needs of the communities, Canada and internationally. Nancy's always recognized that the value of the team is greater than the value of the individual. Nancy should be extremely proud of what she has achieved over her career at ATCO. I'm delighted she's being recognized for what she, Marg, and Linda have done. It's a recognition that's long overdue and well, well deserved. It's well deserved, well earned. Very well recognized and well deserved, well done. Nancy's lifetime of achievement is the company's lifetime achievement and I would say is every team within the company's achievement. There's no one person 
that can do what we do. It requires a whole village, and the team at ATCO, they are terrific, and they deserve this award. Always keep your heart open.